Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where we like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. I think it's safe to say I've had a hectic, like, last few hours. A lot has been going on to do with the new dupe glitch that I found. I mean, I think I said that correctly. But this dupe glitch is not just a duplication glitch. Again, I'm going to have a more detailed video on the glitch because we have done a bunch more testing and found out a bunch more information. But today, I want to show you some pretty epic illegals that, that we can actually obtain in the game via this glitch. But first of all, let's go ahead and look at the illegals that, that we're going to be obtaining today. And to do that, we're going to need to fly. Oh, God. Oh, damn. My Elytra stopped. Right, down here. And this is is what I want to show you, specifically the Steve head. Now, there are a few downsides. The Steve head can only be seen whilst holding it in your hand on an armor stand and a item frame. I put one on each just to see what the difference would be. I mean, I think the glow frame's a little bit better. Not only can we get the Steve head, but we can also get variants of the other mob heads. In fact, we can't get the skeleton one, at least I don't think we can, but we can get every other one, which means the armor stands actually hold their own heads. You can put, like, the main head, the non-illegal mob head on the uh, armor stand, and they will actually hold their own mob head. Now, these things do not look like this when they are in a chest. Let me show you. This is actually what they look like, as you can see, and there are many different variants of them you can see here that um in a chest they're actually all different they uh, sit in the chest slightly different so that would be like a really nice way to display these kind of mob head also obviously uh using the armor stands i think that's really cool as well now, just before i show you how to get those there is one other thing i want to show you and that is the signs there are two variants of signs that we can get as you can see here and of course we can get all different colored signs so that's exactly what we're going to be doing i'm going to grab some signs in my inventory just so they're ready so the illegals we're going to be getting are the signs and of course the kind of like messed up school heads but they look really cool when you actually display them actually one thing i do want to show you is as you can see these ones right here are wither schools but if you do place them down on the floor they actually turn into uh skeleton schools and you can obtain these ones but you can't obtain anything else. Just the, uh, the skeleton schools. It's kind of weird how they change from uh, wither schools, as you can see in my hand, to uh, literally skeleton schools. And they all literally turn into skeleton schools as well. The only way that we can physically keep them as these mob heads is keeping them in this kind of form. So it's very important that we don't stack these up because they will actually stack. And if you do stack them, so for example, this one's the Steve one. Let me uh, show you that right now. So I'm holding the Steve on right now, as you can see. But this will actually stack. I mean, I might just show you this just, just to show you in the video. But look, you can actually lose this. It will stack with those ones. And now I've lost that forever. But I mean, I suppose that was worth putting it in the video. Literally lost forever. Be careful not to stack them together. Once you get them, make sure you put them in a chest one by one. There are different directions in which you need to do to actually get the different mob heads. In today's video, I'm only going to show you the direction of the Steve mob head. Now, there's only about four other ones. So you can just literally try in the other directions. However, if you do want a little video, I'm pretty sure someone posted one in the Jam Fam Discord, which will be linked in the description below. First of all, we're going to get the mob heads. Now, you want to try and have as many mob heads as you can. They do not need to be all different. If you just say got like a stack of with the skeleton schools, you can do it with those. Or the same goes for any of them. Remember, this is directional, so they are all going to change into the same one. What I'm going to do is link yesterday's video so you get a good idea on how to do the duplication side to this glitch as well. Basically, long story short, you're going to want to come to the end and go down to level 1. One, as you can see right here you're going to want to bridge all the way out to around about 200 blocks at this point you are going to need your skeleton schools or whatever schools you have got your mob heads i mean i suppose you could actually do this with your signs at the same time but we'll do that a little bit later so once again you are going to want to bridge out in the east direction around about 200 blocks at this point i've made myself a little platform like this i'm going to go ahead and place down one two three four five blocks and that way i can place these schools on the front 
and basically these are going to change into our Steve schools so we're going to place them there like so at this point what we're going to want to do now if you're on a normal world you might be able to stand around and wait for the auto save icon that might be a little bit quicker for you but otherwise you're going to need to go right through the end portal in the center of the island and what this is going to do is just save those blocks in position Then, of course, we're going to want to go back through the end. And basically go down there and destroy all of those... Oh, God. I don't want to fall in the void. <laughs> and basically, at this point, you want to destroy all of these blocks and collect all of these mob heads. I should know, the next time we come into the end, you're going to want to get yourself a silk touch pickaxe. So you're going to want a silk touch pickaxe ready uh, because you're going to need to use it to uh, obtain these next blocks. So I did say as well that this is not always the most consistent. So it might not actually work first time. I do hope it works first time. That would be really nice for the video. But right now, what I need to do is just remove all of these blocks again we're not 100 sure why um we think maybe when you empty the sub chunk it's got something to do with that but i'm uh yeah we don't 100 percent know why basically i'm gonna go to around 60 blocks and uh something like that now i did go a bit further yesterday but uh since yesterday we've actually found out a little bit more information you don't need to go as far as i thought and we're gonna go back through the portal and once again, we're going to go back to the end. And we should go down there and actually see that stuff's regenerated. So you can see that three of the schools have regenerated, which is actually really lucky. So that means I'm going to get three Steve schools. You're going to want to make sure you've got no other illegals in your inventory. or these will stack. So what's what happens when I mine these with my silk search? You can quite literally see we picked up a Steve right there. I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to grab this one. So yeah, you're going to want to face the mob heads in a southwards direction. So if you're facing south, like place the blocks and then make sure the heads are all facing south. And that is exactly how you will get your Steve mob head. Remember, you can place them in item frames. You can't actually uh, wear these. Which is uh, a little bit of a... Oh, damn. I can't take my helmet off. Bruh. Help. Jeez Louise. Well, yeah. As I was saying, you can't actually wear these. But you can look at them. They're pretty nice. You can put them on armor stands. You can put them in item frames. And, yeah. I mean, it's just a pretty nice illegal to have, right? But we still have work to do. So, let's go ahead and grab our signs. Again, if you do want the other directions, feel free to jump on over to the Discord. Or, of course, just do a little bit of testing. I mean, it's pretty simple, to be honest with you. I just wanted to show you for sure the steve one so uh everyone could get that as for the signs the two different variants of the signs are basically like this you want to place some on the floor again you don't have to actually type anything in them like this so we're going to place some on the floor and then we're going to place the other four onto blocks so let me grab blocks like this and hopefully this will work i'm going to go up here and uh you know place them on these blocks so we're going to go one two three and of course four so we're gonna need to jump back through the portal and save these so i shall be back in a second and of course go back through to the end all right so now these blocks should be saved and i can remove them like this and of course remove these blocks as well and then finally just remove some of these all the way back again i'm gonna go to around 160 or a little bit further Go back through the portal. And now we should have some illegal signs. Again, I can see a gap there, so I want to be super, super careful. I do hope that the signs have worked first time as well. Again, it's not the most consistent. We have got a sign just here. So we have a walled sign. So we do have one variant. We don't actually have the middle one. So what we can do right now is, uh, you know, grab these. We're going to need the silk touch pickaxe. And we can grab these like so. And you can see that you'll get a new sign. Now, the great thing about these signs, no matter where you place them, they will always be on a wall. They are pretty much, you know, awesome. So I'm going to grab this because... All right, all right, all right, it just went back to normal again. So if you place it and break it, it just goes back to normal again. I'm just going to double check we didn't get any more. And what I'm actually going to do is just leave this platform exactly like this. 
place these down and just give it one more go. See if I can get some of the standing up ones. Back in the end. So now it's time to remove these signs again. Remove the signs. And of course, we need to go ahead and remove the blocks. Grab my pickaxe right about now. And then we're going to want to go back to around about 160. Again, there is a gap somewhere. So I don't want to fall down that gap. That would be highly annoying. So a nice little tip. You can actually go in third person like this. And uh, yeah, you may not fall down the gap. Right, that should be enough. I'm going to go through the portal one final time. Fingers crossed we do get the other variant of sign. Because I do want to show you, uh, you know, all of the variants. I mean, I hope it works. Alright, so we got something regen I mean, the path apparently didn't regen, which is kind of weird. Did we get any of the signs? Alright, no. Well, that was pretty unfortunate. I didn't get any of the signs that time. But, I mean, I think you get the idea. It's not 100% consistent. But I would say it is definitely worth it to get the new sign variants. There are two sign variants. The ones on the floor and the ones on a wall. And, of course, to get the Steve mob head. Not to mention, you can actually get quite a few different variants of this if you place them in a chest. I mean, it's kind of nice you just gotta change up the direction a little bit so there we have it a bunch more illegals for you to get in your worlds and add to your museums again i do hope you enjoyed the video i will catch you on the next one